Hi everyone, hope everyone's feeling well, hope everyone's doing good. Uh, I've got a few things to cover in this video. Uh, I've got a message for Ben Hatchett. But before that, uh, I just want to know how everyone's doing. Let me know how you all are in the comments. Massive thank you to everyone. I hit, I hit 22,000 subscribers. So big thank you to all my subscribers, new subscribers and to all the old subscribers. Thank you to everyone who comments on the videos, all the positive comments, because that's what really pushes the videos further. So yeah, I'm really grateful and thank you so much. Really, really positive day today. Uh, I've been bike riding most days, 10, 15, 20 mile bike rides. So feeling good, no chocolate now for nearly a month. Cut the sugar down, so feeling good on that. My Johnny Waldron video, if anyone's seen the Johnny Waldron video, uh, it's gone down really well. Johnny Waldron, sort of unsung hero of boxing, really really good fighter so uh, i've got a lovely message from his son jamie today with a photograph of johnny watching the video that i did and apparently the family are really happy with the video johnny loves it as well and um that really made me smile to know that johnny himself really enjoys the video and as he watches it he's re he relives he relives all those past moments so over the moon with that i had a phone call with joe egan big joe egan Many of you know Big Joe Egan. Mike Tyson called him the toughest white man on the planet when they used to spar together in the Catskills. And Joe's had, had an amazing life, like top boxer. He fought Lennox Lewis. He fought Steve Collins a few times. He was seven time Irish champion in the amateurs. And he's been in prison. He's been involved in different things. Me and Joe have been involved in it. We've done a couple of jobs together. We've had a couple of films together and, um, yeah we're good friends so joe's going to come on the podcast on, on my show i think maybe not next week maybe the following week but we're going to do a live together so uh, any questions for joe when we're on the live you can ask the questions and that'll be a good one i also spoke to sean smith today sean smith many of you know from a hugely popular uh, documentary uk's scariest debt collector uh, it's had like over 20 million views maybe more now but Sean's agreed to come on as well and do a, a, a show with me. I might even be going to see Sean at some point and, and we, do it, we do it actually face to face. So uh, Sean's gonna come on and do an interview, which I'm over the moon about. So good things are happening and I'm gonna really focus on getting the channel going more and more. I'm really happy to talk to other people now and interview other people because I've sort of told my story enough and um, I enjoy interviewing other people, having a chat with other people. So loads more guests lined up as well. The Ricky Grover interview went really well. That's rising and rising. So I'll put some links in the descriptions for these interviews that I did uh, last week. And um, yeah, just thank you to everyone. Really appreciate all the support. And I hope you're well. Let me know how you're all doing in the comments, how everyone's getting on with, with their their lives and different things like they're not drinking and oh talking about they're not drinking mental health and, and addiction side of it i've got some big news coming up which i will discuss probably next week but there's going to be something there really beneficial for people beneficial for me as well um and i'm really looking forward to that it's quite a big announcement actually next week so um all looking good all looking good hope you all have a good weekend anyway and uh, yeah, catch up with you all soon. Thanks again, everyone. Hi, so I thought I'd give a message to Ben Hatchett. I don't know whether Ben will get this. If you do see the message, Ben, uh, first of all, I hope you're well and respect for your fight. And I've been watching the bare knuckle lately and I've seen your fights and I respect anyone that gets in there, any, any, any form of fighting, especially bare knuckle, because obviously it's a lot more painful uh, and you've got to have some serious balls to get in and do it. So respect for that um, now i know you've got a big passion for the fighting because you come back from a loss you come back and got straight in there which is shows heart as well because when i lost as an amateur and my first pro loss it took me ages to get back into it so respect for coming back straight away after a loss um, now i'm going to give a bit of advice if you don't mind you haven't got to take it it's just a bit of constructive criticism um, I'm not an expert in the, in the bare knuckle side of it, especially the hay bales bits. But what I did see in that fight you just had, my advice would be this. In that little confined space of the hay bale, rather than being standing tall like that, I would keep yourself tucked in like that, tucked right down. Because not only are you a small target, when you're tucked in down like that with a bend in your legs, you generate a lot of power from your shots. So you're a small target like that, 
and you generate a lot of power because you've got bent legs. So I'd keep yourself nice and small and be very careful when you chuck them uppercuts. I saw you chucking an uppercut from low down there because that leaves yourself wide open. So I, I would say to you, because um, I know you're going to pursue it and I want you to do well with it. So I would say to you, come in with some straight shots because they're, they're the quicker shots, like boom, boom. But then roll your head after. So when you've done a couple of straight shots, step out or roll your head. So, and then roll. Um, but just be careful when you're standing up tall like that. Also, another thing I was going to say, uh, which took me a while to get the hang of, was try and stay very relaxed and calm during the fight as well. I see you getting quite, um, like quite angry and stuff like that, because um, it's a lot better to be cold, cold, calm and calculated, because then you don't burn energy and your mind works a lot better. So if you're nice and relaxed, without getting angry, you'll think a lot clearer and you'll be nice and sharp. I know, I know in bare knuckle you've got to have that adrenaline because you've got to get that toughness to go for it. But stay nice and calm, hands up high, chin down, head movement. I know you're in a small space, so it's very difficult. I'm not an expert on that at all. But from what I see, would, it would definitely help would if, if you were tucked up small, nice and relaxed, hands up as well. Don't throw shots from down there, but throw your nice straight shots and then roll after, roll after and just keep your head moving. But yeah, I do wish you success because I think you've got good manners. I think you've got the desire to do well. You've got the desire and you've got the heart to get in there. So respect you for doing it. And I thought I'd um, give you a little bit of advice. You, whether you take it or not, it's up to you. I mean, I'm not the greatest fighter in the world, but um, it's just something I observed and I know you've got a passion. So anyway, all the best, Ben. Uh, take care and I'll see you soon.